Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for Ferris Serious Hard. This is one of two new instances made available by patch 3.1 in Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. No puns this time. I didn't really put any serious effort into the intro, it was just too hard. My name is Mistech and I'll be your dungeon guide. You'll notice that the trash in this instance is very similar to that of Ferris Normal. The slime will spawn some friends, so be sure to tank everything. Watch for AoE and these clouds that will explode on contact. The first boss is the Graw Luminary. He has a mild cleave, so tanks be careful where you tank him. The boss will also cast Luminous Lancet, which will place large AoE circles that are easy to dodge. As the fight begins, you'll notice that two types of untargetable ads spawn around the room, a spider thing and a bird thing. Over the course of the fight, players will be affected with prey and linked to one of these glowing balls. After a short time, these balls will spawn a corruption ad based on what it's linked to. If the player is still linked, a humanoid ad will spawn that will tether to the boss, buff his damage, and throw out extra AoEs until it is killed. To avoid this, players can dump their prey on the spider or bird ads around the room. This will kill the ads, but spawn different corruptions. A spider corruption will drop poison poop when it dies, and the bird corruption has a point blank AoE and is pretty easy to kill. As such, I'd recommend dumping your tether on a bird if possible. Either way, burn down the ads and dodge AoEs before returning to the boss. The fight will continue with mild increase in difficulty each round, but the way to handle everything stays the same. In this next section of trash, you'll come across a number of time bombs that will detonate based on proximity. They spawn from incubators in this area, and if you're near one, it's a good idea to destroy it first. The next boss is B. Goo. He's a fairly simple boss, and you don't exactly have to be good to kill him. The boss will mark up a random area of the room with Strip Mine that will do proximity-based damage. Move away from this as necessary. Throughout the fight, Aether Valves will rupture, indicated by these spewing holes in the ground. The corrupted gel adds that spawn throughout the room should be killed over top of these holes to plug them up. If these adds are allowed to live too long, they will eventually explode, dealing high damage to everyone in the group. Kobold adds will spawn, along with these two tethered alchemy engines that will buff the boss's damage. While these engines are up, the boss will stun any player that hits him, and cast loose through, charging at random players and generally being very annoying. The kobold adds will throw out random damage on players. Kill the engines first and finish off the kobolds. Plug up any holes you see, dodge the AoEs, and continue burning the boss. Run from the strip mine, rinse and repeat. Remember not to ignore the gels for too long, as their explosion can get very spicy. Continue on through the trash, avoiding AoEs as necessary. I would again recommend destroying incubators before the rest of the trash. In this last room, you'll notice mobs and bombs are trying to destroy two walls. Kill them before they break through, or you'll have to deal with some clingy new friends. The last boss encounter deals with Progenitrix and Progenitor. We begin by fighting Progenitrix. Watch for her cleave and dodge her sap AoEs. After casting Bombshell Drop, bomb adds will spawn around the room that should be dealt with accordingly. Grey bombs will slowly grow over time and eventually explode. Prioritize killing these first. Lava bombs have low health and can be killed quickly or can be picked up by the tank until they detonate. Eventually, Progenitrix will cast Big Burst, which will do group-wide damage. Repeat until she's down. At this point, four Grey bombs will spawn. Destroy these before they destroy you. Tank the rest as necessary. Once these adds are down, Progenitor will come out of the furnace. Blue Flame will be cast throughout the rest of the encounter. It does group-wide damage and adds a stacking fire resist down debuff, meaning the longer this phase continues, the more damage you'll take. Continue to avoid sap AoEs as necessary. Heal through big burst and get ready for the new adds. Again, Grey Bombs are the priority here. Remedy Bombs will slowly move towards the Grey Bomb and will be pushed back anytime they are hit. Keep these away until the Grey Bomb is destroyed and they will disappear. At this point, the fight will repeat until the boss is down. Dodge those AoEs, keep the remedies away, and destroy the Grey Bombs. And there you have it, Pharaoh's Serious Hard. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Up next, we'll take a look at Thornton Extreme. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.